Hello, hello everybody. It's me, Ramesh Mandari. Today, I'm going to discuss on a, a hot topic, a coronavirus. On this lectures, I'm going to give an information regarding the coronavirus, its origin, its types, types, the or epidemiology, the risk factor, this, the clinical manifestation, the pathogenesis, and with the, the laboratory diagnosis, the treatment and the management of a coronavirus. Let's begin, begin, what is coronavirus? The coronavirus is nothing, uh, it is a large group of, a, of a, it is a large group of RNA virus, which they have already discovered discover in 1930. There are, there are the several species or the several strains of a coronavirus which has been discovered in 1930s, 30s. And among the, the different strains of a coronavirus, only the seven strains of a coronavirus, it is responsible because of uh, infections in a human beings and in animals. Among the, the different strains of a coronavirus, virus, we have seen a three species. I will particularly discuss on a three species of a coronavirus, which has been already causes a, a human infections, and which is known by the all the peoples all over the world. The first, I'll discuss about the, the SARS. The SARS itself stands for the SARS. It is it is also a type of a coronavirus. Which, which we we'll call it as a severe echo respiratory syndrome. It is SARS. And another is a MERS virus, which is known as a known for the a Middle East respiratory syndrome virus. And another is a, a newly, a new members of a coronavirus. It is a COVID-19 virus, which is in the our main hot topics, topic of our lectures. First begins with the virus, coronavirus subtypes. We'll see what is uh, SARS. SARS stands for the uh, severe acute respiratory syndromes. It is a, a type of a coronavirus, which causes a, a infections similar to that of a influenza. And it causes a severe respiratory syndromes. Respiratory, respiratory syndromes. It causes a pneumonia. As a result, the person will die because of a because of a pneumonia. Right? It was first detected in in Guangdong province, Guangdong province of China in 2002, and it has spread to spread more than. 30 countries all over the world. And it has infected around more than 800,000 people, people all over the world and causes a death of around the seven to around 800 people. It is known as a most, most lethal, most dangerous types of coronavirus. Among the different strains of a coronavirus, it is the SARS, it is considered as a most danger or the most lethal types. Similarly, we'll turn to the another virus that is a, a MERS virus. It was first, it was first reported in 2012 in Saudi Arab. Since the since then. It has causes a, it has causes some infections of around more than 2,500 cases, 2,500 people all over the world and killing around 850 people from the all over the world.
if you see the see the structures the structures of a coronavirus they are all 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 are the envelope virus which is having a, a two types of glycoprotein spikes when glycoprotein spikes and hemagglutinin spikes and they have a single strands of and they have a single strands of rna if you see the morphology of coronavirus that is coronavirus different strains of coronavirus all the morphological the morphology of all the coronavirus are similar either the the morphology of of sars or either the morphology of middle east stress mers that is severe acute respiratory syndrome virus or the, the structures of a mers they are all their shape if you see their shapes it is it is a uh, oval structures or the spherical structures with a size size of around 80 to around 120 nanometers in the diameters and they all are the envelope virus and possessing a uh, glycoprotein spikes on their surface since the the presence of a, since the presence of a glycoprotein spikes on their surface it gives a, a crown like structures it gives a crown like like shape to the virus so the name of a virus has been named as a as a corona virus the corona it indicates for the it denotes for the crown or the club shape structures so the due to the presence of glycoprotein the numerous numbers of large numbers of glycoprotein spikes on their surface it gives a crown like structures it seems like a crown like structures so the name has been given as a corona virus they are a single stranded single positive stranded stranded rna virus all the corona virus are single stranded positive single stranded rna virus if you see today's the most hot topics either in the either in the facebook or either in the, any types of so, so social media either if you open the television or 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 news everywhere you will get got a news about the uh, covid 19 virus it is a new members it is a new member of a corona virus it was first discovered in it was first discovered in the wuhan wuhan city of china in the early stages of this this virus the covid-19 virus in the early stages it has been named as a novel corona virus later on the world health organization named it as a covid-19 virus among the different corona virus corona virus strain either the sars or either the mers the covid-19 virus it is it is considered as a less lethal as compared to that of mers and the sars but the genetic structures of a covid-19 virus it is similar to more than 90% more than 70 to 80% of a covid-19 virus it is similar to that of a genetic structures of that of a sars here the beginning of this this virus everybody consider as a consider this virus as a, a mutant strain of a sars virus but it is not the mutant strain of a sars virus but it is a, a new members of a corona virus if you see the, the shape shape of this virus it is spherical in the shapes with with the diameter of around the 120 to 160 nanometers in the diameters and having a single stranded having a single stranded stranded rna having a single stranded rna within a, a nucleo capsid within a iso isohedral isohedral nucleo capsids and and possess a number of spikes on its surface since it is an envelope virus it poses a, a two different types of uh, spikes on its surface that is a 
or glycoprotein just spikes and another is a hemagglutinin esterase dimer spikes it has a number of of spike on its surface that is a glycoprotein yes spike and another is a, a hemagglutinin esterase dimer is spikes these glycoprotein spikes with these it it helps in the attachment of a virus on the the columnar epithelial lining of a of a respiratory tracts of a human beings now this virus virus is known or either all the corona, all the species of a coronavirus either this either the mers or either the sars or the covid 19 virus these all the species or the all the strains of a of a coronavirus they are known to cause infections infections on the respiratory tract of a human beings they mainly infect the the respiratory tract tract of a human beings since the the virus it is found naturally since the this virus either the covid covid 19 virus or the sars or the mers they are found naturally within our animals such as like the bat or the snakes or the penguins or the other other animals wild animals and they are transmitted from the animals to the human beings and causes an infections infection on a human beings so the infections which is caused by the covid virus covid 19 virus it is also known as a, a zoonotic zoonotic disease the infection which is caused by the the covid covid 19 virus it is also known as the it is also a types of a zoonotic infections if you see the the epidemiology of a covid covid 19 virus since the origin since the identification of a covid 19 virus it is first done in december it has been first reported the first case case was reported in the december at the last last week of december since then within a three to four month within a two to three month it had spread all over the world all over the globes in the earlier stage of a disease earlier stage of a covid 19 virus infection it was only confined in a a particular city city of china that is particularly in the hufei province that is a, a wuhan city around the wuhan city uh, but later on it is spread to the different city different city of a china and causes a, a epidemic type of infections epidemic infections within a china with the passage of time now the virus has spread to the different parts of the world on the different continent of the world infecting a, a million of populations and leading to the death of of thousands of, of peoples all over the globe now now the number of cases the infections of a covid 19 virus it is increasing day by day with the passage of times and the, the number of, of death, death people due to the infections of a covid 19 virus it has been increased it has been significantly increased now now the covid 19 covid 19 virus it is it has already spread in in around 110 countries all over the globe and and it has already infected the around 132300 people all over the globe already confirmed with the with the covid-19 virus infection and more than around around 4000 people people they died because of infections with the covid-19 virus now still the numbers is increasing day by day in every day it has been increasing the new cases has been increasing on on day by day on the different different parts of the country on the different continents on the different new countries it is 
it has been spreading now the since the virus has been has been rapidly disseminated on the different different parts of the world on the different continent of the world infecting our thousands of people millions of people now the w has who has dis described it as a as a pandemic disease classified as a is a as a, as a pandemic disease now it is a a, a global problem for us now if you see the epidemiology epidemiology of covid-19 virus who are the most prone to the infections which age group of the people are more prone to the infections with the covid-19 virus if you see the the different if you classify the, the infections rate of a covid-19 virus infection rate and the death rate of a covid-19 virus on the different age group of populations the highest rate of infection it is it has been reported the infections of a higher rate of of infection it has been reported within the population within the age group of people within the 52 52 to around 60 but if you see the the death rate the mortality rate rate due to the infections with the covid-19 virus it is more in a in a people above the age of 60 it doesn't mean that the covid-19 virus it doesn't infect to the to the young children the adults as it infect the all the age group of people but the but the the mortality rate or the death rate due to the infections with the covid-19 virus it is more in a more in the peoples between the age group of around us around 60 to 80 or above this is why because if the age of the persons increases the immunity power of the persons if the person become older and older what will happens the immunity power of the persons will will decrease will reduce the fighting capability capability of the persons against the covid-19 virus it will be significantly decrease as a as the persons become older and older now because of this the people built in the age group of around the 60 to around 80 or above they are more prone to the infections with the covid-19 virus as compared to that of the people belonging to the to the young or the adult populations now who are if we talk to the risk factors of covid-19 virus we need to consider a certain things who are we need to we need to know who's who is, who are more prone to the infections with the covid-19 virus now if we talk who are more prone to the to the covid-19 virus infections if you take the age group different the age group of intervals which as we see that as i as i have mentioned it earlier the the young populations the children and the young and adult group of populations are are less prone to the infections with the covid-19 virus as compared to that of old populations because the children because the young population and adult populations they have a, a better immunity powers but if the age increases the immunity power of the persons becomes slowly gradually decreases as a result what will happen when the person reaches to to the age of around 60 their immunity powers is very weak they cannot fight with with the apparent pathogens which is causing our infections to the human beings so that we can say that 
those the people belonging to the age group of, of belonging to the age group of 0 to 10 or the 10 to 15 below the 50 below the 60 they are less prone to the infections with the covid 19 virus is compared to that of a, a populations a group of population which age is more than 60 they are more prone to the they are more susceptible to the infections with the covid 19 virus infections and another factors is the diabetes as you know that the diabetes it is a it is a one of the major risk factors for the covid 19 virus infections because when the persons have a diabetes their immunity powers their fighting ability against the pathogens foreign pathogens will be decreased as a result what will happen is the persons are more prone to the infections with the covid 19 virus similarly and another factor is it is a, a person's having a respiratory tract infections respiratory which is having a, a problems on a respiratory tracts particularly the asthma those persons which is having a or a disease of respiratory tract that is a, a asthma patients are also more prone to the infections with the covid 19 virus And another person is a, those persons which is having a and other the risk factors are those persons which they are having a heart disease, such as like the coronary artery, coronary, coronary artery disease. They are also more susceptible to the infections with the COVID-19 virus. And another factor is another risk group of uh, populations are those group of populations which is having a different types of cancers either the blood cancers either the breast cancer or the clonal cancers or the brain cancers and or the liver cancers those persons which is having a cancers they are also having a, they are more prone to the infections with the covid 19 virus and another thing is that the most important things those people whose immunity power is very low or the which they have they have they are they are on other medications like suppose some of the persons they have undergone gonna uh, organ transplantation there's six examples of our nepal's prime minister the kp sarmawali he has recently undergone a uh, kidney transplantations now to make that to accept to make the body our body to accept that organs that is the foreign kidney we are the doctors or the physician they provide us certain immunosuppression drugs right what will happen the fighting the the fighting ability of the of the of the persons against the foreign antigens it is suppressed it is compressed. Now, if this, if they cannot, if they exposed to the COVID-19 virus, what will happen? They cannot, their immunity power cannot, their, their immunity power cannot fight with the COVID-19 virus because their immunity is suppressed or the decrease by an ingestion of a certain immunosupp immunosuppressive drugs like corticosteroid drugs in others like right because of this also those persons which have a, a better better immunity powers which are strong they are not vulnerable to the covid 19 virus as compared to the persons whose immunity power is very low they are more prone to the more susceptible to the infections with the covid 19 virus and another factor is it is a uh, some of the peoples they said like some of the peoples when they they have a, a common cold or the like flu like disease they used to smoke to get rid of a 
get rid of our common cores and others like i think it is not a good idea of having of you of you smoking or the drinking of alcohols like those persons who is who are the regular smokers which are we with the other chain smokers they are also more prone to the infections with the covid 19 virus so that these are the uh, different risk factors risk factors for the covid 19 virus infections like in the summary like who are more prone to the infections with the covid 19 virus diabetes asthma patients the heart disease the cancer patients the immunodeficient patient elderly people and the smoking people are more prone to the covid 19 virus infections so they must so they should take a better care or the better precautions to expose with the covid 19 virus covid 19 virus now the resistance of a virus now this virus they can remain of high levels suppose the, suppose i i am having an infections with the covid 19 virus and i sneeze or i cough or i i speak on open area now during the time of sneezing coughing and speaking what will happen some of the respiratory droplet that will be released in the environment in the environmental environmental years now this virus can remain viable for around the three to around four hours at the room temperatures or the outer atmosphere since the since the the virus particles the outer membrane of a virus particles which is possessing a number of glycoprotein spikes it is made up of lipid indexes they will be readily killed when they are exposed at the temperature of around the 56 degrees celsius for more than 30 minutes so if you are using a you are if you are having a ac or the air conditioners it is better better not to make the room room cold like make it hot like more than like you run your air conditioner around 30 degrees celsius so make it the room temperatures around 30 like another thing is is the virus since the, it is made of a since the the outer membrane of a virus particle the covid 19 virus it is made up of lipid membranes they will be readily killed when they are exposed to the sudden disinfectant such as like the 70 percent ethanols or the 0.1 percent hypercolloid solutions or the or the phenols or the other disinfectants so that but the virus can resist them they can remain remain or alive for the uh, many years at the very cold temperatures or they have the minus 80 or the minus 20 or the like four degree they can remain for a long duration of the time so that it is better to expose them on a on a warm temperatures now it is better to stay in a warm temperature not in a cold temperatures it is better to close the ac it's better to better not to use a ac during the uh, uh, summer now what is the source of covid 19 virus some of the people say like like we are in it like kali kali yuga and others like they they used to do like that like the infection it is caused because of the curse of our gods like that it is a punishment given by a god like a god it doesn't mean it's like every living every microorganisms in this planet they are found 
in this in this planet only they do not come from the others planet it doesn't it, it doesn't mean that the duck, the gods from the other planet they send it to the heart it doesn't mean all the microorganisms which is found which is which has been discovered till now it is found in a it is they are originated they are originally found on a different on the different animals or the area either in the human beings within a, this nature only like suppose like our human body or either either in our skins or either in our like gi tracts like we are having a million types of uh, microorganisms or either in uh, our oral cavity right there are the different types of uh, bacteria the fungus and some of the parasites are, are also found within within our oral cavity as a normal flora or either in in our git like in gastrointestinal tracts there also we will found a, a million types millions millions of bacteria like they are with their help in in the digestion of foods right or the they do not cause a infection to to us but the same pathogens when it is transferred to the another another animals or the another species what will happen they will cause us infections on those on those animals they become a pathogens but the same same organism in our body which is found as a normal common sense they do not cause us the infections but when they they goes to the to the other animals they become a pathogens similarly what is what is happening is there like some of the microorganisms either the viruses or either the bacteria they are found naturally they are found naturally in a body of of uh, animals they do not cause they do not harm to those animals but when that that viruses or the bacteria they comes out and they lodge on the different species or either in the human beings now they start causing our infections similarly if it if you take a history of of natural reservoirs of a covid 19 virus the source of the covid 19 virus we do not have to go to search the a more place like the the source for the the covid 19 virus it is a bat or the, it is found in the snakes or the some of the penguins they are found naturally as a normal common cells on a bat on a snakes or in a penguins so the the natural reservoirs for the covid virus 19 virus it is a bat the snakes in the the penguins so far as now like some of the like some of the like suppose you will say i haven't touched the touch the bat or i haven't touched the snakes or i haven't i haven't touched the to the penguins how it is how i got the infections you might be thinking about it like some of the like either the virus will directly infect infect to the human beings or the, they will use some of the mediators which will call will call this as an intermediate host like in case of mars like the intermediate host was a like a like a camels in case of sars the intermediate host was a cat cabin cats like like years similarly the scientists they haven't come in conclusions either the covid 19 virus it has spread directly from a, a natural reservoirs that snake or the penguins directly to the human beings or they first infect the intermediate host or through the intermediate host it is transmitted to the transmitted to the human beings 
it is not known till now but the probability may be there so far as till till now we'll say that the covid-19 virus it is spread from directly from the natural reservoirs to a, a human beings what is the source of the covid virus infections like the there are the different two sources for the covid-19 virus infections to the human beings the four source is a wild animals which is on who is the covid-19 virus is naturally found that is a bat a snake and the penguins and other for the transmissions transmission of a covid-19 virus infections from the human beings to the human beings it is a human which is having a, a infections with the covid-19 virus that is a person as like the source like there is a some of the species to whom the covid inter, covid 19 virus will cause the infections there is a the covid till now the covid 19 virus it is known to cause infections on a human beings but one of the cases from a hong kong it has been reported from a dog generally they cause a uh, infections on human beings but one of the cases from the hong kong it was reported from a dog the dog has been infected with a covid-19 virus so that there might be a chances that covid in covid-19 virus can infect both the human beings and animals too if you talk to if you if you talk to the the mode of transmissions how the human beings get get infections with the covid-19 virus but we do not go and toss to the to the to a bat right we do not go and toss to the snake but some of the peoples in this world some of the peoples of different countries such as like in the china or in the vietnam or either in the korea or either in the some parts of of india like in the meghalaya manipur they used to take a soup soup of bat snakes or they they used to eat a meat of snakes right now the ingestion of a bat or the ingestion of a of a snake soups as like the it's just like the a direct transmissions of a pathogens into the human body into a human body how it is transmitted from how it is transmitted from human beings to the human beings since years the human beings can be transmitted suppose i got the infections the mode of the transmission may be the in human beings to human beings to human beings the passage as like the source of transmissions it is one through the inhalations of a respiratory droplet which is pores during the time of coughing sneezing and speaking of infected persons with the covid-19 virus the respiratory droplet which is which is which is produced which is released in the environment by infected persons if the same respiratory droplet it is inhaled by a healthy persons persons then the person will get the infections similarly the another the indirect mode of getting the infections with the covid-19 virus it is through the a sharing or using of a of, a, of a some of the materials like clothing 
clothing, or the or the towels, or the handkerchiefs, or the like in the mobiles or the anything which has been used by our infected persons. If we use it, there might be our chances of getting the infections with the COVID-19 virus. So well, be careful. Do not use the things that has been used by a COVID-19, suspected COVID-19 virus infection passings. Similarly, a study has been, or several study has been done, or the several studies has been done that either the COVID-19 COVID virus has an ability to cross the placenta barrier or not. Or that there is like crossing the class if the if the, the COVID-19 virus has the ability to cross the placental barriers, then it can infect the infect. In it can infect the infant in the fetus. It can infect the the fetus within a uterus. Right? But so far as now, none of the cases has been reported a perinatal transmission of a COVID-19 virus. Now, generally, if you see the pathogenesis of COVID-19 virus, suppose I get the, I inhale the respiratory droplet, which is containing a COVID-19 virus. In how many days? Does I start to show the sign and symptoms of COVID-19 virus? It may take around the around two to around 14 days to appear the sign and symptoms of the COVID-19 virus. So let's look about the, the pathogenesis of a COVID-19 virus. The persons acquire the healthy persons acquire the infections by the inhalations of a respiratory droplet, which is produced during the time of inhalations, is speaking during the time of coughing, coughing, speaking, and sneezing. These viruses goes and attach to the these viruses goes and attach to the epithelial lining of respiratory tracts and multiply their numbers, multiply their progeny cells. As they multiply their progeny cells, now the progeny cells, they will release by a destruction of epithelial lining of our respiratory tracts, respiratory tracts, and they will infect to the new healthy cells, healthy cells of epithelial lining of our respiratory tracts. Some of them they may reach to the to our lungs and causes a causes a destruction in the parent camel cells of a parent camel epithelial cells of a lungs and leading to the pneumonia. Some of the pathogens they invade the blood vessels and they get entry into the bloods and they release into the blood causing a primary viremia and they spread to the different parts of the body. But it, it is a rare case. But it is a, a rare case. Is the virus, they release to the, they, they multiply during the time of multiplication, the destruction and the squamation of the superficial mucosa, then leading to the difference, leading to the development for different respiratory tract syndromes. Now, the patients will start to show the different types of clinical symptoms. The first symptoms, it is headache. And second symptoms, it is a fevers. The person is having a fevers. And the third symptoms, it is a dry cough. See here, the most thing is the most importantly, you need to know it is a, a cough. In every types of infections, the person will have a fever, headache, and fevers. 
but you have to mention it in, it in the in the the types of cough like some of the bacteria such as like the pertussis like bordichella like bordichella because of a dry cough dry coughing like this. and and one of the virus that is this is like covid 19 virus it is also causes a dry coughing you have to mention you you have to be uh, very careful and they will have a sneezing and they are, there is a rhinorrhea and the person will have a, a sore throat it is a, it is a, in it is seen in in the mild types of the persons it is a, these are the mild types of symptoms and some of them they will have a diarrhea they will develop a diarrhea but in the, some of the cases like in the severe cases of the persons they will develop a pneumonia If the persons develop a pneumonia, their respiratory, their, their lungs stop functioning properly. When the lungs stop functioning properly, then what will happen? The failures of the lungs to, to inhale and expel the, expel the oxygen and the carbon dioxide gas. It impairs the, in the in absence of a gas within a body. As a result, what will happen? The person will die. The death of the persons, it is because of her respiratory failures. See here, it doesn't mean that all the persons who is, they have got the infections with the COVID-19 virus, they will die. Like suppose there are the 100 persons which is having COVID-19 virus infections, so only the 10% of the people, they will die or the less than the data for 10 persons population, they will die. Rest of the 90 persons of the people, they will get recovery after the certain period of the time. Means the mortality rate due to the COVID-19 virus, it is very low, that is around the 10 persons. It doesn't mean that all the people do not die because of the COVID-19 virus after the COVID-19 virus and get go to the market and others like on the crowded place and others like it doesn't mean that you have to be a careful you have to be careful about it careful about your health your your living standards your your diet your balance right in us. Like you have to be very careful on, on that. If you take the proper management, if you, if you take a proper treatment and the, and the done a proper management after the COVID-19 virus, there is a more chances of getting a recovery after the COVID-19 virus infections. Now we'll talk about the uh, laboratory diagnosis. It causes, since it causes infections in the upper respiratory tract, as well as in the lower respiratory tracts. In case of upper respiratory tract, we'll take uh, samples from the nasopharynx, which is nasopharyngeal swabs or the aspirate will be taken. In case of a lower respiratory tract infections, we'll take a tracheal or the bronchial aspirates or the bronchoalveolar larvae or the lungs biopsy. And we may take the bloods also to determine the to detect the presence of IgG and IgM antibodies against a COVID-19 virus. It is in the microscopy, the examinations of a of a different clinical specimen under the electron microscope. It has shown the shown the direct examination of a nasopharyngeal swabs or the blood or the electron microscopes will show the spherical particles with with a, a large number of spikes around it since the we cannot confirm the virus through the electron through the microscopic view since the because the structures of a SARS virus 
or the, the MERS virus and COVID-19 virus and other species of a coronavirus, they are similar. We cannot distinguish it is a, it is a SARS, or it is a MERS virus, or it is a COVID-19 virus or the other coronavirus. So is, it is need to be confirmed. So that in order to confirm it, we'll perform the other molecular tool techniques techniques or will perform a certain serological test will will perform a certain serological test there are the several serological rapid car tests has been it has been already available in the markets this rapid car test can be used to detect the the presence of igg and igm antibodies against the COVID-19 virus in a patient, patient serums. And the, the test can be done a very rapid. It is a very rapid test and the report can be generated, generated within a 30 minutes. And another thing is a most sensitive and specific methods for the, the diagnosis or the confirmations with the COVID-19 virus. It is a COVID, it is a, a molecular methods that is we'll do a rt reverse transcriptase qrt pcs we'll perform a reverse quantitative reverse transcriptase qrt pcs will be done it is most specific and most sensitive methods for the confirmation of a covid 19 virus similarly similarly to in case of if the person is suspected with the with the COVID-19 virus, we'll also perform some of the radiological examinations, such as like the we'll do a chest, a chest X-ray or the CT scans to detect the, the lesions or the, to detect the, the lungs infiltrates caused due to the COVID-19 virus infections, or the to detect the the development of pneumonia so that a radiological examination will also also help the physicians in the diagnosis with the covid-19 virus infections i will not talk much more of details about the laboratory diagnosis. Now we'll move to the uh, prevention and the controls of COVID-19 virus infections. Like to prevent and control the, the COVID-19 virus infections, infections, if you go out, out of the homes, or the, you are in the, in the hospitals, we are examining the examining the, the patients suspected with the COVID-19 virus. Now, in these cases, you have to be a very careful and wash your hands with the soap and water properly for at least 20 seconds. If it is more than 20, sec 20 seconds, it is best, but not less than, than, than that of a 20 seconds. And if you do not have a have a a soap and waters you can also use some of the some of the uh, hand in disinfecting or the sanitizers alcohol based sanitizers such as like the detour savlons which is which commercially available in the markets you can apply on your on your hands and then, and second thing is how to control and prevent the, the COVID-19 virus infections. It is the second thing is it is about the, you should not touch your hands, you should not touch your, your eyes, mouth, or the, or the nose with your contaminated hands. If it is, it is necessary, to touch the eyes, nose, or the mouth. First, wash your hand properly, or the use of hands, alcohol-based hand sanitizers, 
before touching it. And another thing is uh, you can prevent and control the infections by avoiding the by avoiding a direct contact with the patients who are who are suspected with the COVID-19 virus infections. You should keep at least around the if you are going to meet the per, persons which is having a COVID-19 virus infections, you should keep a minimum distance of around them. You should first wear the us of put of protective measures such as like the like a, a gloves, gloves on the hands, masks on a, on a face, and the, the goggles, right? And grounds, which is especially designed for the for the uh, protections from the hazards, biological hazards, right? And maintain a distance of around the distance of around around one to around one point five meters from a patient. Do not go in and do a handshake or the make a kiss during the distribes. We have to uh, maintain a social distancing of around the around 1.5 to around 1 to around 1.5 meters. And another thing is that if you are going outside the homes, every people's a suggested to wear a mask, surgical mask. If you are having a N95 mask, it is better. If you are not having a surgical mask, then the if you are not having a N95 mask, then you can go for the a surgical mask. You can use a surgical mask also. It's better to wear a a mask while going outside the homes and you have to you have to avoid the visitings on a crowded area during these epidemic outbreaks or the pandemic outbreaks of the covid-19 virus infections you should not go to the to a public area where there are the large numbers where the where the large numbers of people gather together like public area like markers like cinema halls else like in the in the sum of the uh, marriage functions like you you should not go go on those area if if it is necessary to go there you have to you must necessarily wear the a uh, mask and another precautions that can be taken it is since the the pathogens it is found in a found in a animals is a natural natural reservoirs since the wild animals are the natural rivers reservoirs of these viruses it is better not to use touch or the or the in or the take a soup or the meat of those wild animals better to avoid the the tossings of wild animals the ingestion of their soups or the their meats and another thing is like as i mentioned you before is it is shown in the pictures like in the figures here one is sneezing and another is like avoiding it like if the person is having a flu like symptoms either the common course and others like do not think as it as a as a seasonal flu this time it might be the covid 19 virus infection so better to avoid a close contacts better to avoid a, a, a close contacts Like if you are sitting to the if the person is suspected either 
then you have to make a, like you shown in the figures, like you have to make, maintain a certain distance, a social distancing of around the one meters to around 1.5 meters. And another thing is, uh, suppose you are, you are sitting with the friends and it is having a, the, he's showing a, a, a flu-like symptoms and he started coughing and it's like, like sneezing. In a such a cases, if you do not have a mask, it's better to close your, your nose and mouth with the, with the palms like this, or close the mouth or the, or the nose with, with that of your elbow, or the close the mouth or the nose with any things you have. So that the virus particles, the respiratory droplet, which is comes from the a patients, which is suspected with the with the COVID nineteen virus, it doesn't get direct ac get access to your body. These are the certain prevention and control measures for the COVID nineteen virus infections. We'll move to the the management and the treatment. Since the virus, it has been recently developed, discovered in the December, so that the vaccines and the uh, drugs against the COVID-19 virus hasn't been developed till now, because to develop the vaccines and the drugs, it will take a certain, certain duration of the times, like more than six months, or the sometimes one year, right? So that there is no any specific vaccines which has been against a COVID-19 virus, but the scientists, they are trying their best to develop a, a vaccines against a COVID-19 virus. And there is no any, any specific drugs, antiviral drugs against a COVID-19 virus, but we are using a certain antiviral drugs in the treatment of a patients with the COVID-19 virus infections. We are using our alpha interference for the nebulizations. We are done, we'll do it twice a day. And we are using a, a liponavir 200 mg's twice a, twice a day for the successive 10 days. Similarly, we are using the riva, riva virin 500 mg which is given intravenously two to three times a day for successive 10 days. And we are using another alternative drugs that is the chloroquine phosphate of 500 mg twice a day for the successive 10 days. And we are using the RB, RB role or antiviral drugs, which is given up three times, twice a day for successive 10 days. The drugs as soon as are effective in the treatment of the patients with the COVID-19 virus infections. And we can do the management of a certain infection. So suppose the person is having a headache. We can give a, give a paracetamol. If the person is having a, a fever, we can give a paracetamol or the like leg zones and others like the to get relief from the fevers. If the person is having a nasal congestion, we it is having a nasal blockage, then we can give a nasal decongestion. If it is having, they are having a pain, we can give a pain relievers drugs. If the person is having a cough, we can give a, a cough syrups. Right? We can do a management of the persons based on the symptoms. We use a distinct, distinct types of drugs in the management of a different, different symptoms shown by the patients for the headache, for the fevers, like for the, for the, for the nasal, nasal blockage, like for the pain, like for the cough, we'll give a different, different types of drugs to give, get, relieve the patients from a COVID-19 virus infections. And another thing is that the person, as I, as I, I have mentioned it, in a severe cases of infections with the COVID-19 virus, the persons 
will develop a pneumonia. As a result, what will happen is the function, the lungs stop function, functioning properly. If the lungs stop functioning properly, what will happen is the person will feel difficulty in the breathing. Those persons which, which they are feeling difficulty in the breathing will give a, a artificial respiration, will, will manage a artificial respirations by keeping them on a, a ventilations. These are the uh, managements, how the, the COVID virus, COVID-19 virus infect, infections can be managed or can be the patients which is having a COVID-19 virus, virus infections can be managed and they can be treated. Thank you. I think, I hope this lectures will be a very uh, helpful in understanding about the, the COVID-19 virus and a coronavirus. Along with the, with the pathogenesis, the laboratory diagnosis, the prevention and the control and the management and the treatment of uh, the COVID-19 virus. So thank you for all.